Hey, this is Danny from Scare Talk. Uh, Before we get into all the horror greatness, I got to let you know about Anchor. Anchor is the host site that we use to record our podcast. Um, Anchor will upload your podcast to Apple and Spotify and many other listening platforms. Anchor is completely free. And you can download the app or go to the website, anchor.fm. And you can record straight on there. There's also some cool editing tools that you can use. Um, Did I mention that it's free? Yeah, so if you want to make a podcast, Anchor is the way to go. Um, Yeah, go check it out. Now, for the spooky stuff. Welcome to Scare Talk, a horror movie podcast. For horror fans, this podcast will cover horror movie reviews, ratings, and rankings. Now for your hosts, Danny and Joel. <laughs> oh yeah, this is Scare Talk. I am Danny and I'm here with Jekyll and Hyde, Joel. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Uh, I like that one, especially for the movie we're doing. Yeah, today. yeah, it kind of it kind of goes. <laughs> um, all right, so this is one of Joel's picks. It uh, is. We're going to be talking about one of his picks, and it is Wolf from 1994. Yes. So Joel, who is a part of this one? All right, so this one actually has a uh, pretty big cast. Yeah. Um, it stars Jack Nicholson, oh, and I'm yeah. I'm trying to choose. I was trying to pick um the horror movies for all three of these guys because they've done mm-hmm. quite a bit of stuff. Yeah. Um. So Jack Nicholson, he was in The Shining, uh, Witches of Eastwick with Michelle Pfeiffer, and oh. Mars Attacks. <laughs> oh yeah, Mars Attacks. <laughs> yeah, two characters in that movie. There's a bunch <laughs> of people in that movie. Yeah. <laughs> And then we got Michelle Pfeiffer. And she was in What Lies Beneath, Mother, with an exclamation mark. That came out <laughs> a f- couple years ago. <laughs> yeah, actually. And... Okay, have you seen that? I have not, Okay, no. all right. Continue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Dark Shadows with Johnny Depp. Oh, yeah. Um, we got James Spader. He was in The Watcher. I think it was like a late 90s movie with a Keanu Reeves. Yeah, I um, remember that one. Yeah, Alien Hunter, which I have no, okay. I don't know anything about that one. <laughs> uh, he was in 25 episodes of The Office and currently um, on The Blacklist, which yeah. he's done about 194 episodes of. So. Wow. Yeah. Holy yeah. Cow. It's, it's pre- I've seen, I think, the first like three seasons of it. It's pretty good. I just haven't... Uh, been uh, up to date with that one yet yeah <laughs> but and it was this was written by uh, a couple people um one of them is jim harrison he wrote the novella for legends of the fall hmm. okay um didn't know that was based on a novella <laughs> um revenge with kevin costner and a movie called cold feet hmm. right. and um also wesley strick he wrote Arachnophobia. All right. Um, the screenplay for Cape Fear, the the remake of that one with uh, Robert De Niro. Have you seen that? Uh, um, I, it's been years since I've seen that movie. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just writing all these down. <laughs> uh, Doom. <laughs> That's exciting. Oh, the rock. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember the, when that came out on DVD. The I remember the like cover of it being super lame and like really yeah. like fake looking and really generic looking. Yeah, yeah. It was I never pretty, saw. I it. mean, it's 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 an entertaining movie. It's not anything like the game um, okay. at all. But there's a there's a there's a sequence where it's like a first person shooter, which is pretty cool. Okay. Um. But yeah, it, it's. It, it's entertaining. It's good for like a one-time watch. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
Um, and then A Nightmare on Elm Street, the screenplay reboot and the story for. Ah, all right. Um, yeah, I I don't know what he what he means by the story of A Nightmare on Elm Street. That's, yeah, <laughs> that's not an original story. <laughs> yeah, it's already been done. That story. <laughs> yeah, I mean they definitely changed the story. They they did a little so bit, maybe but that's like not. What, maybe not that's in, what I don't think enough about. to have like story by his. Yeah. In his filmography, but and this was directed by Mike Nichols. He directed The Birdcage, Closer, with Natalie Portman, um, and Primary Colors, a John Travolta movie. All right, back in the nineties. So yeah, it's a couple people. Yeah, that um have been and uh, have done some some good stuff. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, okay, so the plot: Publisher Will Randall becomes a demon wolf. And has to fight to keep his job. Wow. That's... <laughs> the... <laughs> I mean, the... it no. kind of sounds like a Teen Wolf kind of thing. Yeah. Like he's already <laughs> <laughs> just becomes a Demon Wolf, has to try to keep his job. I mean, sounds like an episode that's... of like, yeah, like some teenage uh, Disney yeah, Channel that's... show. I mean, that's kind of like the, the. I mean, it's kind of flipped what actually happens in that <laughs> in that movie as far as that description goes. But yeah, okay. that's like the first kind of part of the movie, I guess. <laughs> so it's interesting how IMDb does it because they, you know, you can click on the plot. Like that's the plot that shows up on the main page for the movie. Yeah. Um, if you click on that, there's like other plots like written by other people, and mm. they're way more extensive. But they're like yeah. paragraphs, and I'm not gonna. Yeah. I'm not gonna read <laughs> a like, paragraph. You're not gonna give away the entire movie here. <laughs> we do yeah. that enough on our end, <laughs> right? Yeah, I don't need that. <laughs> we like to read about it. <laughs> um, that's um, so. That's yeah, very generic uh, sounding, and it's generic, and also doesn't sound good. Like no, no, it doesn't. It, not. <laughs> you know what? Actually, like it's it already did... a wolf, and then and that and he. <laughs> After becoming a wolf, he's trying to keep his job. Like, that's not... <laughs> you know, it actually did kind of... Because I remember when this came out, I remember, like, seeing, like, the pictures, like, the cover and the poster and mm-hmm. stuff. And to me, it looked like a... Almost like a Dracula... Like a romanticized Wolfman movie. Like, yeah. it looked it looked like a romance movie to me. I always thought that's what it was. So yeah, yeah, because it shows Jack Nicholson and Michelle Pfeiffer like yeah, like half of their face like yeah. So I, I do remember that cover. <laughs> and so reading that, I was like, oh okay, so it's not what I thought it was. Mm-hmm. So it did kind of make me want to watch it. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a really yeah. lame. It, just the fact it's... that it wasn't like this love story that I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, um, I mean, there's there there is good. that in there, but it's not. It is. But it's, it's not, not like a yeah. focal point of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do have some issues with that part of the movie. So we'll, okay. we'll get there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but to be a little more specific, the plot is mm-hmm. he, uh, Jack Nicholson, he, you know, he has this job. It's like a publishing company, I want to say. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. He works with James Spader um, and he's married. And basically the movie kind of starts out with him being bit and Mm -hmm. being bit by a wolf. And uh, then he finds out that he's, you know, they basically demote him or they give him a different job that he doesn't want. And James Spader is going to take his job. Um, All while he is kind of transitioning day by day into this Mm -hmm. wolf man in wolf the night. demon yes a demon wolf i didn't uh demon wolf i didn't think of it that way but um, i guess he's not a nice yeah. wolf so maybe he could be a demon. yeah i'm yeah <laughs> i mean yeah he they did there was that one scene where oh um, yeah with the he, uh, he does say that he's a d de- he's gonna turn into a demon wolf yeah yeah um <laughs> it's true he does say that so <laughs> yeah it's just, so yeah it's kind of weird like I don't know. Like werewolf would have, you know, that that that's weird too. Yeah. Just to just like say you're going to turn into a werewolf. 
But <laughs> Demon Wolf sounds, I don't know. There's just something, something about that particular, those like, I guess, two words combined that you're just yeah. going to turn into that. Yeah. After being bitten by what looked like just an ordinary wolf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, he's like transitioning day by day or night by night, I guess. Mm-hmm. And um, meets Michelle Pfeiffer. And, yeah, and we can kind of get into more specifics as we go. But, mm-hmm. um, you know, he's trying to get his job back, basically, while he's, yeah. you know, his marriage is falling apart and, you know, all kinds of stuff. So. Yeah. Um, but overall, I did like this movie, I have to say. Mm-hmm. Um, it took me a while to watch it. I watched the first half in one sitting and then the second half in a different sitting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not um, all at one time? No, not yeah. all at once. But I like that I did that because I was like getting tired the first time. So mm. I just turned it off rather than trying to... You know, falling asleep. <laughs> yeah, falling asleep yeah. trying to stay with the movie. Um, mm-hmm. So, did you see this back in the nineties, or do you remember? Um, I, I don't remember the first time I watched. I know, I know it was like way back in the day. I don't. Yeah. I don't think it was around the time it came out. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we rented it at one point. Um, cause it was 94, so yeah. I would have been eight, I think when this movie came out. Yeah. Um, I think I did see it in the nineties. It was just later in the nineties. Right. And, um, so I have seen this movie a few times. I think my, um, my parents ended up buying it cause it was a good movie. Mm-hmm. Cause I mean, my stepmom at the time hated horror movies and she, she still does <laughs> not a big <laughs> fan of them, but the thing with this movie is that it it does have their those horror elements to it, yeah. Um, but it is it is pretty much a drama. It is a drama yeah. with some horror thrown in there, um, which I think will probably be our first movie. <laughs> it's mostly drama and some some yeah. horror aspects to it. Yeah. Um, I mean, the we horror did the definitely... haunting movies, but those were te- or those haunting series, but those were shows. Yeah. But the horror definitely picks up toward the last piece of the movie it does which yeah. was probably my favorite part of the movie mm-hmm. um i'm yeah, glad the that there the full moon and <laughs> yeah i'm glad that there eventually was a villain um i cause... mean he he was kind of like i mean he wasn't like this evil person but he was kind of like a slime ball he was you know after he got bit, James Spader, after he got bit, yeah, um, you, you could just tell he was going to be the villain of the yeah. movie. Yeah. Um, and he gets bit, like, halfway through the movie. So I was hoping to see more of a transformation from him yeah. because his transformation was really cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, um, I hadn't seen this movie in a while, but I remembered his transformation the most because it just, like... When it happens, um, the slow transformation, not just like just becoming a werewolf, but, yeah. you know, um, that that last half hour or so, which I thought right. was longer. Um, I, I could have sworn that his transformation was like we, we paid more attention to it um, earlier on in the movie. But mm-hmm. it was it was Jack Nicholson that we focused all the attention on, right. which I I would have been okay with seeing more of James Spader's transformation. Yeah, yeah it was <laughs> it really was just, cool. It was so cool. <laughs> yeah, it was really cool once you see his, like, eyes. Mm-hmm. You know, like, he he looks like himself, but there's something up with his eyes, you know? Yeah. And I was like, oh, he's about to he's about to turn. And, mm-hmm. you know, he was, he was kind of the villain just because of his, like, attitude and his, um, yeah. you know, he was trying to take his job and everything, and he did. And, mm-hmm. you know, so in like a, you know, business sense, he was, he was a jerk. Um, but yeah. he didn't become more threatening than that until like toward the end of the movie. Yeah. So I like that there was like a life threatening, you know, aspect to the movie, um, mm-hmm. with a villain, you know, that really yeah. turned it into a horror film to me. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely did. Yeah. Up until that point, it was just, it was 
mostly a drama with like the aspects of him turning yeah. into a werewolf, which was kind of cool. Um, mm-hmm. I liked when he would go out at night and <laughs> do um, these big leaps and <laughs> yeah, do the big leaps. But like when you see his face, his face looked looked pretty cool. Looked, yeah, kind of creepy. Yeah. Um, yeah, he was he starting just, to get hair on like his the sides of his face and like his cheeks yeah, and stuff. Yeah, his teeth were all like weird looking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just, um, yeah, we goes to like the zoo and everything, <laughs> yeah. and um, <laughs> runs into Ross. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they were swimmer has yeah, a little so cameo random. appearance in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Like one scene. Yeah. But. Yeah, I liked all the subtle stuff. Well, not really subtle, but like him sleeping all day. Yeah. You know? And mm-hmm. like not realizing it, just waking up and it's like the next night, you know? Yeah. And uh, him smelling things and hearing things, mm-hmm. you know, even during the day when he's just like looks normal, he can like yeah. tell that this guy like has been drinking and. Yeah, you know, like he's like, oh, yeah. someone answer that phone. It's like way <laughs> far away from him. Yeah. It's like in like way like all the way down the hall in a different room. He's in Michelle. He's 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 in the car at um, Michelle Fiverr's house, little guest house that she's in, and she he's like, your phone's ringing. Like, <laughs> you can hear that. <laughs> and he was trying to tell her that he was like turning into this wolf, and she. For some reason, decides to have sex with him at that point. Like, what? Yeah. Why? Why do you yeah, like no. this guy? <laughs> what has he she's done a, that makes you like him? She's she's a free spirit, and <laughs> okay. her dad doesn't like him. So you know, <laughs> right? Yeah, that's that would be my negative with the movie. It did not seem realistic that she would be into this guy. One, he's way older. Yeah, um, and. He's weird. He's like a creep, <laughs> like the whole time. You know, like, this guy is very. I mean, I guess maybe because of the mysteriousness of him or something. Mm-hmm. Is what he's she... mysterious. He, you know, he's telling her that he's turning into a werewolf, which is weird. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that can be a turn on. You don't know. <laughs> I guess it is. You know, my favorite. My favorite part about their story was when, like. You know, he's telling her about he's being a werewolf. They get this hotel room and mm-hmm. she like pushes him on the bed like they're about to get it on. And he goes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my gosh, he's growling. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was pretty funny. Um, but yeah, and then I thought it was funny. Like then she like realizes, oh, there's something up with this guy. Like, maybe yeah. he is a wolf. <laughs> like, dude, yeah. he's been telling you the whole he's movie. Been tell- yeah, there's been, there's been hints all over the place. <laughs> yeah, and then all of a sudden, she's, like, super concerned. Yeah, and um, she's talking on the on the phone with the cops. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, there's canine DNA mm-hmm. on, on the body. That's when she's, like, she freaks out and realizes that, oh, man, he's a wolf. <laughs> He's a wolf man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I love Michelle Pfeiffer. I think her acting is always good. Jack Nicholson. Mm-hmm. You can't go wrong with him. He's yeah. the perfect casting for this too. I mean, yeah, he looks he really like was. a wolf, like just in general. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Michelle Pfeiffer too. Cause she eventually, you know, spoiler alert. Yeah. It, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it, it's the movie's like almost 30 years old. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's with her. It was always it was all just in the eyes. Like you don't actually yeah. see anything else turn right. with her, because um, that's just pretty much how it ends. But um, but yeah, like in the eyes, yeah, she yeah. it was very canine like. <laughs> yeah, and she <laughs> just kind of has that look about her too. Like, I feel mm-hmm. like you know, like maybe wolf or catty kind of looking. Um, yeah, like her eyes. She was Catwoman, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> she kind of has those features, so yeah, you know, it was good casting um, for both of them. I thought. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um. Yeah. And James Spader. I mean, he's yeah. always he's always he's always a good 
you know, actor to have in your movie. <laughs> yeah. They're always a good bad guy and like creep. Yeah. Kind of just like, what's this guy really up to? You know, he's, he's yeah, always exactly. got something going on, <laughs> some sort of motive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I love him in the office. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, what's his <laughs> name? Something California. Um, Robert California. Robert California. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's a weirdo <laughs> in that show. Mm-hmm. But he's he's always saying something that you feel like is really important, like the way he says <laughs> yeah. it. But he mm-hmm. says nothing at the same time. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> what are you talking about? But he's so yeah. serious about it. It's great. Um, another part I really liked was their interaction, uh, Jack Nicholson, James Spader, when they're in the bathroom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he tells him, like... That he's going to, you know, he took his job back and, you know, he's going to fire him or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he just turns to the side, just pees on his shoes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, what the marking hell? Marking his territory. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, I'm marking yeah. my territory. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, the way that we're, we're describing this movie, you would think it was a comedy. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. There's definitely really some not. funny scenes. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. not, but there's definitely some humor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There is, yeah. I I really enjoyed this movie. Um, when I texted you and asked if you had seen it, for yeah. I don't know why it just like popped into my head. I was I was trying to pick a movie, and um, like it's not even something that I had seen recently. It was just like I really like this movie, and I want to see if you know it, this could be a, a pick of mine. Yeah. Um, for us to to review. And you're like, no, I haven't seen it. I'm like, okay, perfect. There you <laughs> That's go. That's the movie because it's, it's just like, it's just a really well done. Um, and it's it's hard to do a werewolf movie. Yeah. Um, it that particular, <laughs> like horror, like the monster horror, but like in particular werewolf. Yeah. Horror. It's hard to do without being incredibly cheesy. Yeah. Yeah. And they 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 nailed it because you you see you see the transformation but you don't actually see the physical transformation. You yeah. just basically it's all, you know, it's all the um the the senses are heightened. Mm-hmm. And then like the eyes are different, like, you know, there's more hair, but you don't actually see them turn to right. a, a werewolf you just yeah. suddenly suddenly they're just, little, they're just wolves <laughs> well and they just they and, look like um they don't look like wolves necessarily they look like people yeah. like wolves i guess whereas yeah, like american yeah. werewolf in london and like the howling and stuff they like they turn into like monsters more so mm-hmm. and they yeah. those movies are always like hailed for their transformation scenes where you actually mm-hmm. see the whole process. Yeah. Um but I think that they're they turn more into the like you know, monster werewolves. Like they don't yeah they don't there's, stay there's, as like people. Yeah, yeah. With those especially American Werewolf in, in London, I think that's the first one. Yeah. London there's London and Paris. Um London, yeah, he they yeah, that werewolf is just yeah, it looks like a monster. Like yeah. it's not it doesn't look anything like an actual animal, yeah, at all, or a person. And I don't think I've ever seen the Howling, <laughs> but yeah, or a person. But the transformation, <laughs> I have seen that movie in the last couple of years, and that transformation scene is actually really cool. Still, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it still holds up, but it's it's hard to it's hard to to nail that transformation right. in a werewolf movie. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this is. One of the few of the werewolf. Well, I, I don't, you know, I haven't seen all of them or anything, but it's the few that I thoroughly enjoy. Yeah. Um. Every time watching it. So. Yeah, it's a good story. Um. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I'm glad that it, you know, built up to this final battle. Um. I yeah. wasn't seeing that coming. I thought we were just gonna continue to see Jack Nicholson change, and it was mm-hmm. just gonna kind of be like a either we figure out how to stop the transformation or he just continues to completely turn into a wolf and you know, then he gets Mm -hmm. killed or, you know, something like that. I thought it was going to be more just about him. I didn't see the, the battle coming. 
and not um, until like the police station when yeah, you actually yeah. see him and <laughs> yeah that part I was yeah. like okay this movie took a little bit of a turn that I'm enjoying <laughs> um, I wasn't expecting that so yeah I really yeah. like that that's if it wasn't for that I would have a lower score mm-hmm. um, but that that turn that lasts like 30 20 minutes or so um, was really entertaining I really liked it i yeah, I probably wouldn't have even uh, suggested it if it hadn't been for that part in yeah. a way because it would it it definitely did feel more like a drama than an actual horror movie up until that scene. Yeah, and James that and that's you know when you see James Spader for the first time in a little while, and he's 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 looking pretty bad. <laughs> he's looking he's in rough shape right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, and that's the that's the part that I remember the most of this movie is just how he looked. Yeah. And that's pretty much what made me want to choose this movie because, nice. um, yeah, that transformation alone is is worth a, a review. Yeah, <laughs> of this yeah. movie. Yeah, really cool. Yeah, um, I also uh, liked the music actually. The yeah, score the music was was, just... was really good, mm-hmm. especially for a werewolf movie. It kind of it had a '90s feel to it, but also like an old like '30s like Wolfman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. feel to it with the uh with the score so i thought that mm-hmm. was cool too yeah the music was definitely <clears throat> a highlight as well um i actually just watched this today about a couple hours before doing this um episode mm-hmm. <laughs> um again just to just for a refresher and yeah the music from the <coughs> very beginning of the movie all the way through was just like really good yeah yeah um and sometimes so. that's hard like not hard to do, but hard to, um, uh, main, like, you know, in the nineties, like it just had a certain feel with the score and it's not my favorite. It's not like the (laughs) eighties scores where it's like, that's iconic. The Mm -hmm. nineties is, I don't know. Sometimes it can be like either too much or just kind of generic sounding full on like orchestra. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Like it's, it can be really lame. And, and mm-hmm. just be out of place sometimes with 90s movies. Yeah. Um, but this one had like a good mix of that with the old at the same time. Mm-hmm. So I I feel like that can really bring a 90s movie down. Um, and this one, it kind of lifted it up. So mm-hmm. I was I was happy about that. Yeah. Yeah. I was definitely uh, pleased with the music in this movie, um, especially this last time. It's not something that I... Normally, I I may think about while the movie's on, but you know, before doing the podcast, it's not really something that I like focus on yeah. to see if the the music's really good or the music's really bad. Um, it's just something that maybe subconsciously in the movie, I'll be like, oh, the movie's mu- music's pretty good or music sucks, but it's not <laughs> something that I'll I'll like remember after the movie. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the music was really good in this movie. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and uh, you know Jack Nicholson, you just can't go wrong with him. He's no, he's such a. I don't know. He's like someone I want to hang out with, <laughs> <laughs> as like his characters. You know, like yeah, I don't know. There's just some it's some charisma that he has on screen where it's just. I don't Man, know. He just seems like a looking, cool guy. <laughs> looking at his filmography, he hasn't done anything in twelve years. Wow. Since 2010 was the last time. Was that like the bucket list or something, or what was no? That, that was like 2008, I think. Oh, it was okay. some like Owen Wilson, I think, like rom com or something like oh, that. Okay. I'm like, okay, I never watched it. Yeah. But I'm like, that's your. That's what you're gonna choose to be your last movie. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should have stopped with the uh, to... either the bucket list or departed. Just stop there. Yeah, <laughs> Bucket List came out after, so yeah, stop at yeah. Bucket List because I mean that was that would have been a good one to stop with anyway. Yeah, it totally makes sense. You know, like yeah, if you're getting old, or you know, make one more horror movie. Come on, Jeff. yeah, Wolf Two. You're good at those. <laughs> yeah, <Wolf. laughs> He's like completely sequel. a wolf. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know if we can yeah, do that. It's like Jungle Book. <laughs> They're all wolves now. Oh, James Spader's character is not uh, alive, but yeah. 
It's just yeah, it's just gonna be like a jungle book. Just there's <laughs> just gonna be like talking and uh, never, no, no, don't do that one. <laughs> yeah, pick an original horror movie and yeah. star in it one more that, time. That would be really cool. <laughs> yeah, don't go out with a ro- romantic comedy. Come on, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, well, um, you want to rate it? Yeah, uh, actually, let me pull up some fun facts here. All right. Before we get yes. there, should Handy be dandy some fun facts. Interesting stuff. All right. So Jack Nicholson had been trying to get this movie made with his friend, screenwriter, and associate producer Jim Harrison for twelve years. Wow. Yeah. I'm I'm glad they waited because that would have been that would have put him in like the mid '80s. And yeah. I don't. I think it's better in the '90s. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Personally. Wow. Um, so this is like a passion project for him. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He's like, dude, look at me. I need to do this movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. If anyone can play the wolf man, it's, it's me. Come yeah. on. <laughs> this is just obvious. Um, okay. So director Mike Nichols had originally wanted Michelle Pfeiffer to wear a red hooded sweatshirt for the movie's final act. Little red riding hood. Is yeah. that what we're going for? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. She refused, as she thought it would harm the movie's credibility. I, I get it. Yeah, like he's he's going for something a little cheesy with the whole Red Riding Hood thing, with like her her turning into the into the wolf. Yeah, from Little Red Riding Hood, and it's like, all right, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. That's yeah. that's dumb. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I it's it's a very small little little thing but i i can see where she didn't want to do that yeah all right michelle pfeiffer adopted a baby girl became engaged and got married all during the making of the movie wow jeez okay (laughs) that's i mean how long that the movie take like maybe four months to make yeah um... (laughs) okay it's a lot a lot of like big life decisions right there in the span of a few months um in christopher Plummer's memoir he revealed that while filming a scene he got so into character that he actually slapped michelle pfeiffer across the face instead of faking it um he played her dad i think yeah did that scene get cut because i don't (laughs) even remember yeah i don't remember him slapping that slap (laughs) i don't either Damn, I if I was Michelle Pfeiffer, I'd be like, you know what? We're gonna keep that scene in because I'm not <laughs> gonna be in pain for nothing. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that was her dad in the movie. Yeah. He um he's a he's a big he was a big actor um back then too. He did a was one of the main characters in the Sound of Music way back in the the sixties. Oh, wow. So yeah, he goes he goes uh pretty far back. <laughs> And most recently, he was in Knives Out. So, ah, yes. But. All right. James Spader's stuntman did all of his stunts without wires or protection, almost greatly injuring himself during a scene in which Stewart is thrown onto the stone steps of the guest house. Oh, I remember oh, that part. Yeah, he did that. Yeah, I guess so. By himself, without any help. <laughs> All right, dude. You don't need to prove yourself. Like you're a stunt man. <laughs> like you can use you. You know, we don't need you guys to die. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. So, okay. Like, <laughs> see, if it were today, that'd be a CGI. That wouldn't even be a real person. No. Like yeah. in those in those fight scenes. Yeah. Like, the '90s, the last great decade of <laughs> practical effects. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's. About the most interesting stuff. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let's give it a grade. Or a rating. All right. What do you think? All right. So I'm going to give this one an 89. All right. Nice. I'm going 84. Nice. We're both in the 80s. Yeah. But... <laughs> yeah, it was good. I, yeah. I'm i a fan. I would probably watch this again at some point. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, I think it's good. I think it shows, you know, classic Jack Nicholson, Michelle Pfeiffer. Um, yeah. 
I feel like this movie doesn't really get talked about. It really doesn't. This is yeah. definitely an underrated movie. Yeah, I would say um, so. Yeah, especially in for some reason in like the werewolf horror community. It's just <laughs> like what. <laughs> I laughed after I said that because it's like it's you know horror genre community. Yeah, the sub, I guess the subgenre of the werewolves. Sub-genre. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like bottom of like of the werewolf. World. Yeah, like, nobody talks even, about it. Even Wolfman gets talked about with Anthony Hopkins more than this movie, and that's yeah, way more of a drama than this movie is. Yeah, it's been a while yeah, since I've seen, seen that one, but. I mean, I get American Werewolf in London gets more talked about. It, it you know, it kind of is deservedly so. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's definitely a full-on horror movie. Um, and the Howling. But, I mean, you know, Wolf should be in that conversation, yeah. too. Is... Yeah, I feel like all, all that gets talked about is American Werewolf and the Howling. Those are, like, the mm-hmm. the only ones that people really mention. Yeah. Um, and I haven't. I don't know that I've seen The Howling. I don't think so. I have either. That should be one that we do sometime. Yeah, yeah. Uh, since neither one of us have seen it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's yeah, it's definitely an underrated, an underrated classic as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Well, good pick. Very nice. Thank you. Um, so I have an idea for another segment. We don't need to do it for this episode, but um, I was. Me and my wife were um, talking and she was telling me about different things that people post on the next door app. Have you, have you seen this app? Um, I have, I haven't looked at it in probably since I lived in California, but (laughs) okay. So I think you should get it for your neighborhood Mm -hmm. and we can make fun of people and their horrors that they live through in our, in our neighborhoods. (laughs) Nice. <laughs> so pick a couple of, you know, good ones throughout the week or whatever. And uh, we'll talk about it on the show. Nice. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have a smaller neighborhood, so right, I'm, right. I mean, I'm hoping I'm hoping I, I can get some stories out of it. But <laughs> So we were kind of um, going through it and um, a couple of weeks ago, because it was just too funny, all the stuff that was being posted on there. And so I posted, um, you know, I, I put my garbage out in the front of my house and then the next morning, this big truck comes by and takes my garbage and dumps it into the truck. And then they just left it there empty. (laughs) I can't believe it (laughs) or something like that. (laughs) Cause I mean, that's like the level that people get like outraged about, you know? There's always something stupid that nice. someone's pissed about. So, um, so yeah, I think it would be fun to. You that know, would be maybe not fun. every episode, but you know, mm-hmm. uh, every so if we often. We can find like really good ones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the that's horrors good. of the world, the real world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the real world. <laughs> the real world can be scarier than the horror world. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> um. All right. So this was your pick. So it was now my pick. we will reveal Drum roll, please. <laughs> my <laughs> pick, which we have some movies coming out. And bodies, then, bodies, bodies. Yeah, another it's just, movie. there's a lot of movies coming out. Really coming out, but yeah, yeah, I can't remember the date on that. But so I don't know that we will get to my pick, at least posting it, you know, r- right after this one. Mm-hmm. Um, so it'll come eventually. But yeah. what I am picking is mother. Okay. <laughs> it is a horror film. Yeah. Yeah. Um, All right. <laughs> so get ready. <laughs> oh, I'm ready. I've been wanting to see it. I just, I yeah. just haven't, um, Jennifer Lawrence. I just haven't watched it. Yeah. Javier Bardem. Or, Pfeiffer. Is it Javier Bardem? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, Michelle Pfeiffer. Um, so Very if I had mentioned mother, because I'm 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 sure that didn't click in your head no, before I mentioned it. What was your pick gonna be? I'm just curious. <laughs> it was gonna be uh, Shaun of the Dead. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. We'll, we'll definitely get to that one. At yeah. Some point. I wanted to do a comedy. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah, we haven't done we'll a comedy yet. Yeah, not really. 
I mean, it's not really me a whole and, uh, lot of horror. Katrina did there. Vicious Fun, which I would say oh, yeah, was a right. horror comedy, but yeah, I don't know that we've done others. Yeah, there's like Shaun of the Dead and the Zombie Land movies, and yeah, yeah, they're definitely out there. But yeah, we'll just just haven't done them. But yeah, Mother. Mm-hmm. So get excited. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. it's uh, mother. It's, mark. Yeah, it's yeah. mother. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very interesting movie. I'll be curious to know your thoughts of it. Um, I've seen it once, uh, but it was a few years ago, so I'll definitely be watching it again to see if mm-hmm. my thoughts have changed. But um, <laughs> yeah, it should be fun to talk about. Lots to dissect in that one. So yeah, that's what I. That's what I hear. <laughs> one of those you really have to pay attention to yeah yeah um, which i love i love those type of movies but i just haven't for some reason i just haven't watched that one yet yeah but it's on hulu i think so. yeah i think it's been on hulu forever it that's has, when yeah. i uh that's where i watched it a couple years ago so mm-hmm. um i would I definitely call it uh elevated to a yeah to a high peak <laughs> yeah <laughs> so. it, i think I think on my elevated episode that I posted on um, YouTube, mm-hmm. it was mother was one of the pictures. One of the pictures, yeah. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Probably because I did like a collage, yeah, a couple of collages on there, and I think mother was one of them. So yeah, I could definitely, see it. yeah. Is that a twenty four? Every time um, I, I think of elevated, it's a twenty four is like the one company that pops. Yeah, in my head. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it would make sense, but I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah. So that'll be fun. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, look out for that one eventually. At some point in the future. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that's it. This has been our episode for Wolf from 1994. Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Joel is transitioning. <laughs> I have the canine team for it, too. Oh, the... nice. <laughs> <laughs> I say right. my vampire teeth, but it can be my werewolf teeth, too. Yeah, you know. yeah. Do you identify <laughs> as a werewolf? or? <laughs> no, I'm not no. quite there yet. <laughs> um... <laughs> Do you use the werewolf bathroom? or? <laughs> just outside. I, yeah, I, yeah, that's just outside. That's just... <laughs> But yes, I do sometimes. Okay, you know? all right. Well, in Idaho, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, <laughs> crazy guys over there. Oh yeah, totally. Uh, <laughs> total crazies out here. <laughs> all right, that's it. This has been Scare Talk. Sleep tight. Don't let Jack bite.